everyone. Owen from Dillerstone here. I'm going to take you through the client portal in Farfinder Anywhere. Now, the client portal is available to Farfinder Anywhere users who have browser access. And as you can see on my screen at the moment, I'm currently in the browser version of Farfinder. So the client portal will allow you to do three things. To allow you to share selected information on selected candidates with selected client contacts. Hopefully improving the service that you offer your clients and providing more detail about the candidates to them and negate the need to use reports. So the first thing I need to do is open the assignment that I'm working on. Here it is on the left hand side. Once I'm in the assignment, the first thing I need to do is define the level of information I wish to share with clients. I go to the Actions button and I choose Settings. And within the settings, I can control at a granular level the level of information that I share. For example, if I wish, I could hide the candidate's name. If I wish, I can share candidate attachments. If I wish, I can show personal information or any of the other details taken from the file finder record uh, and put onto the client portal. Once I'm happy with those client settings, I simply click OK. Then on the candidates tab of the assignment, I can highlight people that I wish to share with the client. And in the context of knowing which people I've shared and which people I haven't shared, the ones in green are candidates I've already shared with the client. The ones in white are those that I've chosen not to share. And if I want to share a new candidate with a client, I simply highlight the person, I right click, and I select Mark for publishing. Now, because I've chosen to share attachments uh, with the client, attachments to that person's record pop up, and I simply click on the tick box to identify the document or documents I wish to share with the client. In this context, Alex James's CV, and I simply click Publish. Then I move on to the Contacts tab, and here I can define the client contacts I wish to share with the client. Same process again, highlight their line of information, right-click, and choose Client Access Enable. There we go. I've chosen the level of information I wish to share. Uh, on an ongoing basis, I've chosen the candidates I wish to share. And I've also selected the client contact that I wish to share. And again, I can make changes to that if I wish. For example, if I no longer want to give Jason access to the client portal, I simply right click and I disable client access. Similarly, again, on the candidates tab, if I choose to take away a candidate from the client portal, I highlight their line of information, right click, and mark for publishing no. Once all my changes have been done, I need to publish. And again, I go back to the Actions button, and I select the Publish option. And any changes that I've made are immediately updated. And in terms of my client contact, they will now receive an email with the link to use the client portal site, their username, and the opportunity to create their password. And if I wish, now that's done, I can choose to preview the view my clients will get on the client portal here. I click on View on Portal, and a Preview tab pops up. Now the Preview tab has a all the information that the client will see once they log on. On the first page, they will get a breakdown of all the different candidates within the assignment and their status based on those that I've chosen to publish. They will get a list of the team uh, who is dealing with this assignment, any documents that I've chosen to share regarding this assignment, and if the client has access to more than one assignment, those assignments will be listed here and I will be able to flip between the different assignments.
Now, in terms of the color scheme here, you, um, it's very bland, it's very basic, as I'm just demonstrating the product today. And you'll be able to uh, change the color scheme and the branding to suit your organization. And from there, I can move on to the Candidates tab, where I can review information about the different candidates in this assignment. Now, in the context of this assignment, I've shared quite a few candidates. So if I wish, I can click on the Progress Code button here and choose the candidates that I wish to see. For example, if I wish to see those long list candidates, I simply click there. And there's Alex James, the person that we recently published in FileFinder candidates to this assignment. And it's got all the information I've chosen to share with the client, including his resume CV. And I simply click on the link here to open that person's uh, CV. And also as the client, if I wish to give immediate feedback regarding this candidate to the team, I simply click on send feedback. There we go. The email will go to the team leader regarding this assignment and this candidate. And as the client, I can now pop in my message. Click send, off the email goes. The team gets the email immediately and they can move the assignment forward. And that is Client Portal in FileFinder Anywhere. If you have any further questions about this, please contact your account manager. Thank you so much for your time and have a lovely day. Bye-bye now.